This video is to help you to solve some of the Blackboard Collaborate Ultra invitation issues that people have been having. Some people have reported that they're not able to see the invitation that they've gotten from a certain class. And I wanna show you some ways that we can work to make that problem go away. So the first thing I'm gonna direct your attention to is, so this is the inbox of my FCPS Gmail. And you'll notice that this invitation here, which is start, has the number two next to it. What that's telling me is there are two emails that have been sent uh, that Gmail thinks are part of a conversation. And so they're gonna kind of nest them or lay them one on top of, of the other. And I'll show you what that looks like when I click on it here. So you'll see that I've got an invitation to this class, which is very clearly, the link is there to join. And then I've got my second link here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and just show you what that would look like the first time when I click on it. So you may not even see the first invitation at all, which is kind of sitting up top. The second e email, whether you uh, click on the first one or not, has it has a start and end time, but it doesn't actually give me the link to join. And so the question is, where is that link? If you click on the three dots or the ellipsis right here, it will open the bottom of the email and it will show you where the, the link for the session is. Since this part of the email is the same, uh, Gmail is hiding it because it thinks it's just like a, a repeat of something that's already been said. So let me show you what it looks like if I click on it uh, on, the, on the top email. So here's my link. And again, I'm scrolling down and I'm, not, I'm seeing the start and end time, but I'm not seeing my link. I'll, I'll notice those three dots again. And in, in, in everything Google, those three dots are a symbol for more content. And when I click on it, once again, it drops down my link. So let's talk about the second way. So you'll notice that these two emails are uh, nested in, in part of a conversation. So we can just turn that feature off where Google is trying to help us by collecting emails that are, are, are part of a conversation. I'm gonna click on the gear and that's gonna open up a lot of um, my settings. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll notice that email threading has a, an option called conversation view, which is what is doing that. And it's checked. If I uncheck it, it's gonna say um, that it needs to reload to, to, for that setting to take effect. I'm gonna hit that and reload. And now you'll notice that all of my invitation emails are coming separately. So that is a separate way that you can solve that issue. I hope that this allows you to, to find your links for your classrooms uh, more easily. And please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.